Hey guys, here is a camera rig I would like to share with the Lightwave community. Uh, the other day I was setting up uh, quite a few shots uh, for a scene I'm working with and well as always just keyframing the camera. I uh, want to cut it if you want uh, the camera motion to look good so I started building a few different camera rigs and well I was in the mood and uh, fancied it up a bit and came up with this rig uh, which I could then uh, load into each and every scene I was working with and then uh, reuse it. Anyway, uh, this rig uh, tries somewhat to visually and uh, also how it uh, functions, uh, replicate uh, kind of anyway, have an analog um, uh, stick boom camera rig works so well and the reason to try to replicate a real life rig is of course to make the camera behave uh, kind of like the audience are used to see the camera behave so well let's see what we have here we have uh, just a few lines here to mark the stick and the boom of this rig and uh, well and a few selector controllers around the camera and uh, well um, what you can do here let's see we have uh, the rotate we have the height we have the length these three controllers uh, controls uh, the actual rig how to rotate the boom the height of the boom and the length of the boom so well it's the boom controllers you can say uh, then we have this one. Uh, this circle is the kind of the rails or the wheels of the rig. So use this one to move the entire rig around. H up here you have the focus controller for the camera if you're using a depth of field. If you're enabling depth of field for a camera. Target is if you want to use a target for the camera to point at. Uh, usually I try to avoid using the target because, well, uh, real life cameras don't have a target, but sometimes, well, you know, it's just handy and, well, then I enable it. And to enable the target, I have a controller here called Use Target, and I also have a controller here called Use Noise. That's when, well, you get into the action and you need the camera to bounce around a little bit, and we'll get into those as well. So, anyway. Let's try out this rig. We have the height controller, so let's click this one and boom, it selects this one. And you have translate on the Y to move the entire rig up and down. We have the length and then you get the C axis selected here. So you can move the camera on this boom stick back and forth. Then we have the rotate. And here we have to you get this little ball selected here and you have to switch to rotate mode and you can rotate the heading and the pitch. So you can move the camera like this, and you can move it up and down. Um, and as you can see, the camera is not move, uh, moving, changing its rotation, it's just changing the translation. So the camera is kind of like on a steady cam here, you can say. So you can move this around, you can, you can uh, take it up a notch, you can change the length and you can keep rotating it. So that's it and then we have uh, the focus so let's uh, take up the camera view and let's enable, I just had uh, Thor's here I can enable as you can see now the Thor's are out of focus so let's take this focus controller and translate it and let's see in the OpenGL how we can get this donut into focus perfectly or if we move it back we are leaving the focus here so you have complete control both visually by using Lightwave's depth of field motion blur preview and you have this circle here where you can see where the focus line goes and of course the actual dot here is where you get the perfect focus so you can also see where you place it and this uh, can only move 
on the z-axis. So that's the, the focal control of the rig and um, of course uh, it's always I always work with the camera view open when I usually work so I see what I'm doing when rotating these around. And then you have also um, the target which I mentioned before. Let's uh, zoom in here again. We have the target which doesn't do anything at the moment as we have not enabled it but then we have the use target control here. So by moving this control forward you blend uh, into using a target. So now we have full full targeting with the camera and can control this target completely. As you can see here, the camera always follows the target now and by taking this one you can blend it back and of course make a few keyframes or whatever you're going to do. So this is a very useful controller to switch between target, a target camera and a non-target camera. And then finally, if we get into some action, uh, perhaps rendering explosion or something, we have the new noise which you can drag up here, up to a maximum where we get where we get tons of noise. So the noise can go back uh, at 100%. You have around 20 degrees different. As you can see, if you scrub the timeline, lots of noise. So if you go back a bit can uh, perhaps just be here around 10% shakiness. We get a little bit of shakiness. And of course, this is useful to keyframe when you need to make some actions in. And uh, this action, if you want to be a little bit more, if you're into expressions and those kind of things, the noise is an actual expression. So if you go into Lightbus Graph Editor, check the expressions tab, you have the cam shaker here. And as you can see here, as I, the, the shake is a random value between minus 10 degrees and plus 10 degrees. So of course you can just go in and change these values if you would like to be able to make a much more bold noise effect or shake effect. And well, yeah, that's pretty much it for this rig. Uh, I find uh, that I can do about any kind of shot almost with these controllers so well I hope some some uh, of you will find this useful and um, as always feel free to comment on this rig or uh, send me a suggestion for improvements uh, how this can be made to work smoother or more efficient or uh, whatever if you have any ideas for that and well so let's uh, end this uh, little short tutorial video demonstration of uh, bringing this camera into uh, a scene so let me pause all right okay here is just a, a simple scene that's uh, part of a previous i'm working on uh, nothing fancy but it will do for this demonstration. So if you have a scene and want to use the camera rig you should use uh, the load items from scene. So you find that under the file menu load load items from scene and let's load the camera rig. And when you load items from scene you get uh, an option of the items you need to load uh, because uh, we don't need to load the light it's not checked anyway. We can load the camera and we want to load the master plugins so we have to enable them. You can just take select all and then deselect the lights or yeah whatever but make sure you get the master plugins because that's uh, the pickers for the actual uh, controllers in the rig and every item in the actual all the nulls that makes up the string are prefixed with the CR for camera rig so well is enough to make sure you get them all. So yeah, let's load it. Ta-da! And I think it sits right in the middle of the building here. So let's take the camera rig. And now it sits over here. There we go. 
All right, it's a little. Let's change the grid size down to one meter so it doesn't get uh, unproportional. So let's select the camera, let's center on it, and let's zoom in. Okay, here we have the rig, and here we have the camera view. Let's uh, change the layout of this. So we will take uh, double horizontal. And we have the camera down here, and we have the perspective up here. Yeah, that will do. So let's just uh, try this rig and make a few keyframes. Um, we have a shot here, and let's uh, remove, go to solid, and let's go to solid. So we have uh, we have a door here going to blast open, and let's uh, have the camera. We take the rail controller and move the camera over here. And uh, shall we use targeting? Well, why not? Yes, so we can use all the controllers. So we will uh, grab the target controller. Do, do, do. I guess we failed to load the target. No, here it is. That's the target. The target doesn't is not parented to the rig, so it has uh, simply because we don't want the rig to move around the target. So let's uh, let's have the target over at the door like this. Da -da. Let's enable motion blur preview. Let's take the focus and let's have a focus up here somewhere. There we go, and let's grab the use target and uh, blend it over. Perhaps not all the way. Let's uh, be around 70%. And there we go. So let's make a few keyframes. So we go all the way up. And when we are at this frame, we take the rail controller and we want them to be over here. A bit closer, like that. And let's uh, have this one go in a slight circle, circular movement like this. Yeah. All right. So let's go in a bit closer here. Perhaps we should uh, switch this to double vertical. That might be easier to follow along. So here we are. Yeah. And we want the actual uh, crane or boom to have a slight motion. So let's uh, let's have the camera go a bit from bow. So we have a high camera, and while the shot moves in here. We will have the camera lower down and let's have it rotated a bit like that. And let's see, yeah, then we have a nice motion for the camera going in like this. Ta da! And I believe I'd like a little, little less focus from the beginning, so perhaps we have it like that. Yeah. And uh, well, we can go all fancy and keep moving. Oh, I forgot to mention the first part that the, the camera itself uh, is free to be moved. Uh, I did not constrain anything on the actual camera. So if you need to override any motion, you can always go in and manually add camera rotations on top of everything. Uh, it overrides the targeting, everything, so the camera is always free to be completely moved uh, on top of the actual rig. That can be useful to know. So yeah, so let's go in here. Uh, here we have an explosion, so let's take the use noise. Ta -da. And I don't think I want to use the use the sent out of center anymore because this keeps popping around. So let's take use noise on frame four. Let's key it on frame five. Let's bring it up a bit and 
on frame 15 it's back to normal yeah so we get them um, and we should probably just okay this shouldn't be an animation tutorial so I will just very quickly adjust these ones yeah like that so I want to keep doing this but uh, I just wanted to demonstrate how to work with the, with the rig so yeah uh, let's be happy about this yeah uh, perhaps a bit <laughs> quick but anyway you, you get the idea so yeah uh, feel free to download the rig from my site feel free to comment on it feel free to use it and yeah easy peasy cheers <laughs>